all of a sudden we can hear this this banging noise. Boom, the engine broke and then all of a sudden the, the wing hit the snow. The aircraft just went to the side and then we went around this about 150 kilometers an hour. And then the pilot looked at me and said that Pata, we have a big problem. My name is Pata Degaman and uh, I've done expeditions for the last 25 years. Pretty much all over the place actually. But mostly in the polar areas. I've been up to Greenland, Spitsbergen, and Iceland uh, a bit over 40 times. Down to Antarctica six times, so six different locations over there. Nine of these expeditions have been to areas where nobody's been before. Over 200 mountains where people haven't climbed before. So we have named a few mountains, Mount Sisu, which means determination in, uh, in Finnish. I once had to call uh, the chief editor of uh, one of the most known uh, picture magazines in, in the world. And he, they were sitting on information who had been to Antarctica, what they have done and, and so on. And uh, I got uh, their phone number to their magazine. I started, started calling. I didn't have the courage to press the buttons. And my friend asked me at that point, that, will I call him? And I said, yes, yes, I'm a bit busy. So I'm going to call him tomorrow. And uh, the next morning, came and uh, I wasn't brave enough to call him, so I told my friend that, what did you call him? No, 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 he had to go to some meeting and then he left. <laughs> At the same time, we started laughing because it was a bit of a strange situation. I was, we were going to climb on Antarctica, but I wasn't brave enough to call one guy in Washington. Well, uh, I proposed to my friend that, what if, let's say that we are average brave during one day, like everyone else, and what if we take this one day braveness and compress it to one hour? And we call this hour the power hour. And the idea with the power hour was that when it starts during the day, all our fears will be thrown out the window. And then we are really brave, at least one hour a day. If you never ask anyone anything, you won't get anything. And that's for sure. No one will come and say to you, hey Patrick, here's a ticket to Greenland. No, I need to ask for it. The other thing I found out that if you never tell anyone anything, nobody will know nothing. So you have to explain yourself, you have to inform people. And the last thing, and maybe the best, best thing to remember is that if you never do anything, nothing happens, and that's for sure. So if I'm sitting back home at my soul plan wondering how I will gain Antarctica, for example, it's really good to wonder and plan, but if it stops there, then it's gonna sit in myself over there. So sometimes I have to lift my behind and start doing these things. And it's a big, big difference between talking and doing. And we always have to get into this doing part. And then we get things moving. But you just have to be brave enough to take one small step uh, towards your goal, your dream, what it is. And then you see that, you know, it doesn't go straight, it goes like this. But this is how it is. And if you are aiming for something unknown, something that you haven't done before, I found out that it's sometimes good to step outside that normal way of doing things. Uh, then it's much more easier to see the possibilities and see your route, which way you should go. But this taking a new path, a uh, new route somewhere, uh, can be challenging and, uh, and you can be afraid of doing it but you need the courage, you need to do it if you want to reach your goal. And that's why it's really good to, to have a goal that you really want to do. Then it's quite easy to navigate through all these you know, bad things that you, that you like, because this, your goal is so much bigger than this you're afraid of.